Hello and welcome to Be Inspired Today. I am your host, Cliff Wright, and today we have a very important guest, Aaron Smith. Aaron is the CEO of Body Blueprint, and he is a professional trainer and health and wellness coach. Welcome to our show, Aaron. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Awesome. Awesome. I've known Aaron for about 20 years and watched him grow up to be a successful man, uh, a businessman, as well as a successful father. Uh, Aaron, tell us about your passion. How did you get into personal wellness and body blueprint? Well, um, it started off by being an athlete. I was an athlete most of my life, played uh, football, ran track, and even played a little basketball. So I was always into working out. Right. So I was um, went to Long Beach Poly High School where I graduated, was able to get a, a football scholarship. And after I graduated college, um, I decided to to become a, a personal trainer and I learned more about the nutritional aspect of it. And so once I learned about the nutritional aspect, that really inspired me to, to help other people, but not only working out, but also just, um, you know, keeping their their health on track with eating habits supplementation and is doing everything right in, in order to to live a long life and avoid um avoid getting diseases wow and you call that uh disease reversal right disease and reversal. prevention yes and prevention um i actually had a situation myself you know uh years ago um i had psoriasis over 80 percent of my body uh the medical wow. doctor said i was going to have it for life and so uh initially you know of course i prayed about it and, and you know i went to the doctor and uh they wanted to give me some steroids medication wanted me to get tested for cancer uh but i decided to to go the the naturopathic route you know as far as avoiding certain foods getting enough minerals herbs essential oils um and also you know not only that uh this is assessing my life because stress can cause um a lot of diseases so i had to assess people in my life uh, assess my relationship with god as well what, what am i doing um that can be causing this and i was able to reverse my condition in two and a half weeks wow so that's have, powerful yeah and then i learned so much about uh nutrition that i've been able to, able to help other people with skin issues high blood pressure diabetes cancer uh with a number of different things that i you know with uh, nutrition supplementation i use uh a, a, a multiple uh, medical devices as well and it just, it's, it's inspired me to keep learning more and more about uh, my field, you know, in, in health, fitness and nutrition, because a personal training certification is great, but that's limited. OK, because, you know, I see a lot of different things on Instagram, YouTube. That's great. Look at having a great body. Uh, but a lot of times someone can look healthy and fit, but they're not. They can have high blood pressure or diabetes. And so and when I have my case of psoriasis, I look pretty healthy, you know, for the most part. But and then mm -hmm. I just did more research, learn more about um, nutrition and making sure that my colon was clean. And one thing I learned that, you know, 75% of your immune system is in your colon. So I had never got any kind of colon cleanse. And when I had a skin issue, that was one of the things that I did as well. So it's just constant learning of how I can help people with disease prevention, disease reversal. And also I train athletes as well. So, I mean, we eat healthy and you do the right things and you have proper body maintenance that can help with your performance as an athlete and, and even help you uh, potentially get like a, a scholarship uh, to a college, you know, you know, it's, it's, it's the small things that really help. Wow. Very powerful. Very powerful. You know, our show is all about helping our audience to hold on to positive expectation. Um, if there is a person that's watching right now or maybe listening that may be going through a health challenge, uh, give them some practical advice and maybe even some some spiritual advice on how they can approach this. OK, um, yeah. So I would I would highly recommend is look at different options. Do your research. There is so much information on online. There's so many so much information on books. Even myself, there's there's multiple theories that I believe in when it comes to health, you know, when it comes to supplements, when it comes to um, vitamins, nutrients, uh, blood type diet gluten free. I mean, it's the list goes on. So I would recommend doing your own research. Um, you know, I thank God for doctors, medical doctors who prescribe medicine. But if you're only looking at that route, I highly recommend looking at other other um, options as well, uh, where it may be whether it be naturopathic or a more natural way, because a lot of the medications have have side effects. And so I, I learned that as well. And also, like when I had my case of psoriasis, I had psoriasis, I had to look at my my life. You know, stress can can um, 
stress can weaken the immune system? What kind of rest are you getting? Myself, I'm a Christian, man, so I looked at my relationship with God as well. What are some things that I can do better? What are some things that I may be missing out on? Because regardless of what goes on in this life, my belief is that there's there's a life after this. And so I want to, first of all, I want to be here as long as, as possible, um, as far as I want to be able to, to function effectively and efficient, efficiently and also leave a legacy. So the way I live my life, people are looking at my son is looking at me and other people as well. So I think, you know, once you live life that way and have a, a walk in purpose and not only not only in profession, because some people are want, you know, maybe they want to be a lawyer, a doctor or actor. But in order to pursue that, you need to be alive in order to That's so true. <laughs> yeah, in order to 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 be successful in that you need to be able to work effectively and efficiently. So if you're constantly sick, you can't if you're an actor, you're trying to go on auditions or if you have all type of issues, you got aches and pains in your bones and muscles, you're not doing the body maintenance um, as far as the stretching and certain things. And that's another thing I do. I help because I have helped my clients with stretching and body maintenance when it comes to aches and pains in the bones and muscle. So if you're not doing all that, then that can hinder your performance. And so, of course, I never expect anybody to be an expert in everything because it, it can sound sound overwhelming. Um, but even if you're not trying to be in the health and wellness field, it's important to know some basic information and um, be guided by uh, someone who you trust, who you feel um, has seen results, whether it be a, a personal trainer or a health and wellness consultant or a naturopathic doctor. They they have customers or they've had patients who've seen results. OK, and I have a similar condition, so I recommend seeing what they're doing as well. And just be open minded, because I think, you know, it's it's an, it's it's real it's real good to believe what you believe but a lot of times you know certain things that i know now if i wasn't open-minded then i would have never added that to what i do right now there's certain things that i added to as far as services that i offer that i know certain trainers they're pretty much they're closed mind to it ah, that doesn't work but once i tried it's like wow i'm glad I, I'm, I'm using this now so uh, my clients are using it as well and i'm teaching them about the nutrition aspect the the body maintenance uh when it comes to the eating habits um, and also taking care of your body and the body maintenance. Yeah, I think it's very important to be open-minded because you know, I've talked, I, I, I work with a lot of people uh, from a lot of different backgrounds, you know, because I train, I train people on, to get, to lose weight, to bulk up, to, to get quicker, faster, stronger. And a lot of people are somewhat set in their ways, eat these type of foods, avoid these type of foods. But I was kind of the same way. So I think when, you, when you're open-minded, doing your research, you're going to you're going to essentially see more results and see more results faster and and you'll, you'll be able to carry on that knowledge to your family and friends and, and and actually have a legacy and that's that's what i learned especially when i had my health condition i could have easily just only relied on the medical doctors and i know people who have the same health condition and they decide not to go you know look at other options and they still have psoriasis they still have certain they're still managing their symptoms Right. Well, I've seen too many situations uh, working with different, different naturopathic doctors, but those those conditions were reversed completely uh, by changing certain things, getting enough nutrients, uh, vitamins, minerals, uh, whether it be herbs. Um, I even have this uh, medical device that I use that increases blood circulation. So, you know, being open minded to that as well uh, has I mean, the sky is a limit, you know, the sky is a limit as well. And then not, not only that. Not only that with the eating habits, but like like you mentioned, the getting the rest and also stress. When you when you don't get enough rest and you're stressing out a lot, um, that can weaken your immune system as well. So you have to look at so many different aspects of your life and having management of your life. Uh, you treat it like a business. The way I see it is, you treat it almost like a business. And in business, you have your revenue, you have your expenses. Uh, at the end of the day, you want to have a profit, and that's why sometimes people get diseases. They, they they might get diseases, and then it's, it's pretty much they're running out of their revenue. They're not eating enough fruits and vegetables, not getting enough minerals, and they're doing more of the bad things. Maybe they're smoking, maybe they're stressed out, maybe eating a lot of foods. It's gonna to get to the point where you're out of business. You're out of business and essentially not on this earth anymore. So the way I see it is I actually kind of track the things that I do, you know, when it comes to eating habits and my, you know, and I don't get sick a lot, but the times that I've gotten sick is most of the time, oh, by the way, I have been stressed out. By the way, I have been kind of not eating healthy in certain areas or, you know, during the holidays. Um, so most of the time I can kind of put my finger on it. And the times that I'm really thriving, I know that everything is okay. I'm eating healthy, I'm doing this and I'm more effective. I'm more effective because I, I have a lot going on. I mean, 
even outside yeah. of health and, health and fitness, I need to be alert. I need to be effective. I need to be healthy. Uh, not only to not only to to do what I need to do, but also inspire people and to be a good example. Of course, I never expect anybody to be 100 percent with it. Of course, you know, people have their cheat days and stuff like that. But, um, you know, like I said, this being being open minded to especially if what you're doing is not working or what you're doing is only maintaining. Oh, I'll take my medication. I'm fine. I'm still alive. I just got to This is my life. Well, look, look at other look at other options. Um, and of course, you know, me being a Christian, I use my faith as well. But faith without works is dead. And there's so much information out there. There's so many situations that people are in, whether you're religious or not, whether you're Christian or not, regardless of your religion, that can be avoided just by doing practical things. You know, the, the information is out there. And myself, I try to use discernment to see what, you know, what works and what doesn't. And I think everyone's different, but there are some basic things that really apply to everyone when it comes to eating healthy. Uh, where you're going to see primarily going to get similar results by doing certain things. Wow, powerful. I love how you you uh, uh, related to the body as your business. That's that's really powerful, Aaron. I've never heard anyone put it that way, and it struck a chord in me as well. You know, just pay attention to your bottom line, and mm -hmm. that's, that's so powerful. So yeah. you also work with, with young people. I know that you work with your, young, your son, uh, mm -hmm. training him, and... Tell us what, what that's like, you know, uh, working with your son, training him. It's, it's great. You know, uh, you know, it really motivates me to, to keep on with the personal training and help other kids. But, you know, he see and actually I'm glad I'm at I'm at an age where I can still do it. where I can still work out. So a lot of times I work out with him and I want him to be inspired to, to eat healthy, inspired to 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 do the sports he want to do. Of course, I don't make him. Of course, I might I might kind of put him in a position to where it's already right there. But um, he enjoys right now. He, he runs track. He's played basketball before. Uh, he's probably gonna get back in that. He's done, doing martial arts, so he's staying active, and he has a passion for it. And one thing that I I do I do encourage him is to is to not give up. You know, because a lot of times you know people can be in an environment uh, whether you know they've seen it before in their family, with their family and friends, where people give up when it when it, when when it gets very competitive. Because you know in sports it's you know, there's competition. There's times when you don't want to get up and work out. There's times when my son doesn't feel like getting up and working out. There's times when he doesn't, you know, but when he gets on the track or when he gets on the, on the field and he see, sees the results, then that's when he gets motivated. And I experienced the same thing when I was younger. And he needs to take that same mentality in life, in school, uh, when he's trying to uh, pursue a career. Uh, and I think the sports in general really teach you a lot of lessons about teamwork and doing your part. And like I said, it kind of goes hand in hand with the nutrition because I honestly believe, you know, when you're younger, people may not notice the difference as much. You know, a lot of kids eat McDonald's and doing, you know, but when you get older, when you get to the high school level, college and professional, eating habits can make a huge difference on your your endurance, your performance and your longevity. How long are you going to be in a league? Look at LeBron James. Look at Tom Brady, you know. They're, they're doing certain things. I know for sure they're doing certain things nutrition wise. I know LeBron James spends a lot of money on, you know, probably personal trainers and different things, maybe certain medical devices and treatments. Um, and so all that really, you know, helps them with the longevity. And I'm even showing my son certain things about nutrition. Okay, you need to eat these foods, avoid these foods. This is, and I taught him how to stretch out as, as well. So he's learning to do things on his own. So that way, you know, you know, in the future, if he continues and he wants to pursue sports, he'll be able to help others. Whether become the personal trainer or not, you know, I want to leave that legacy so he'll he'll be able to um, to help others, you know, as he as he grows older as well. That's powerful. That's powerful. Now, the medical device you talked about medical devices uh, mm -hmm. a few times. Uh, talk talk about medical devices that you're working with. Well, there's a number of them I work. With. Uh, one of them is uh, the Beamer medical device, which increases blood circulation and oxygen. Um, so I like that, it, you know, I, you know, I think it's great for the immune system, great for recovery. So I use that in myself. I use it in myself first, even if I didn't use it in my clients, I would use it in myself. And so uh, also when you're using that device, um, it allows that if you're taking supplements, it allows them to be more effective, more absorbable. So that, that's helped me out a lot. And they have different attachments for the skin. Um, I see it almost, almost like almost anti-aging, you know, I, I use it almost every day. A lot of my clients use that. Um, the other device that I have is a medical device. It's um, it's a alkaline water. It's Kagan water, uh, but it has seven different types of water. They use it a lot in hospitals in other countries. Of course, they don't. You don't want, you wouldn't see it in hospitals in the U.S. But um, you know, it has water for drinking, water for cleaning. So it allows your house to be more green. 
right, to where you're not having all the toxic chemicals. So I have clients who get water from me or some of them have their own machine. And then I have another uh, medical device. Um, it's called the Zytoscan to where um, it scans your hand and, and based on different readings, it tells you what supplements you might need based on nutrient deficiencies. Um, a lot of people have, uh, you know, my belief is, of course, there's a lot of theories out there. So, I'm, you know, I try to give a disclaimer. Uh, so this is what I believe based on my research and certain naturopathic doctors I talk to that uh, there's over 900 different diseases that are due to nutrient deficiency. There are over 200 wow. different diseases that are due to calcium deficiencies alone. Um, and so, you know, with that device, it, it, it kind of it tells you what supplements you might need or has a, a setting for supplements, has a setting for herbs and it has a setting for essential oil. oil. So every quarter, at least once a quarter, I'll do it and see, OK, I'm missing this and I'm missing that. So I'll, I'll, I'll get that product and stuff like that. So I have clients who do that. Um, so those are the those are the three three main. Uh, oh, also, I have it's not necessarily a medical device, but it's um, I have an infrared sauna blanket that I use for my clients, for myself as well. We burn up to 600 calories just detoxing you. And every time it's used, you, you lose anywhere from one to two pounds. So wow. um, and that's something you can purchase as well. But some people don't want to purchase. So they, I rent them out or they'll, um, they'll do sessions. And I use it for myself as well. And just to help detox. Uh, it also helps with weight loss. So I have I have clients who use that as well. So as you can see, I'm constantly adding more things. And I just recently purchased another device. I was at the um, the Fit Expo in, in San Diego. And okay. it's, like, it's like electric stem. And I've used it before. When, you know, when I play sports, you know, you go to the go to um, physical therapy or, you know, if you're real sore, if you have an injury, you still put like uh, little pads on you and it's like electrical stem to help speed recovery. So I have I have that device now that I can use on my um my clients and a lot of these devices i'll say that one and also the beamer medical device i use in um it's something called a, a body healing session and the body healing session is where i do customized stretching customized stretching mm -hmm. i use a special technique it's a special breathing technique that i use uh that i learned from a gentleman if you look him up on instagram he's called the stretching healer uh and i learned you know he, he was a I, me and him were a trainer at ballads a long time ago so i learned the technique from him uh, and he, t he actually teaches his clients how to do it. And so I, I, I use it on myself and my clients and it's, it's been a world of a difference. And while they're on it, while I'm doing the stretching, a lot of my clients are also on the Beamer medical device so they're getting the blood flow. So, um, and I like to teach them how to stretch as well. It's a special uh, stretching technique that's more effective to where it's, it's better for the body to heal and it helps with performance. And then I also have, um, I do the massages with the massage gun and foam roll to help with the lactic, lactic acid. So um, throughout the years, I didn't always offer this. So as you can see, I'm constantly building and building and building. And that's that's yeah. being open minded, even when because like I've been involved in many different supplement companies. Right. And of course, mm -hmm. I love supplement companies at multi level. And but I'm always open to learn. Oh, this is a new product. This is great antioxidants. This is wow. I'm not going to say, you know what? No, this is this is my company or whatever. I'm always open, <clears throat> even if it's something that competes with what I'm doing. Hey, if there's something better out there. I want to I want the best. All right. Yeah. Even the certain things I don't certain things I don't have yet or I don't really offer as a service, but I, I'm, I'm big on, you know, as far as chiropractic, I'm not a chiropractor, but you know, that's controversial as well. But I, I'm, I like the, I like going to the chiropractor, massage, massage therapy, um, cryotherapy. I heard positive things about and some of the things I'm still, still doing research on, but as I get older and as high um, network with people who are professions in that area, acupressure, acupuncture, uh, I'm learning more and more. If I don't offer the service, I encourage my clients, you know, check this out, you know, do your research first, but check this out. These are some of the results that these people have seen by going to that person. And another thing I'm big on, I love products. I love different, you know, different things. And of course, a lot of these products have a lot of great testimonials, which is great. Right. But I always tell people there's so many contributing factors. So if you're taking a particular supplement and you see a person, oh, I don't have cancer anymore, I don't do this. Okay, what else are they, what else? I look at many contributing factors. Um, that's why a lot of these companies, you gotta be careful how you say, oh, it cured me or I did this. You gotta be real careful because you can get one person, two people taking the same product. One person might have great eating habits, the other person doesn't. One person might have a particular um, um, other health issues, another person doesn't. Their immune system is compromised. Uh, one person having enough rest, other person not. So they're going to have two different results. So anytime, that's why I don't, I don't really, some people say, oh, I swear by this product. I swear by this. Well, yeah, I, I offer this product or offer this service, but here's some other things you may need to do. All right. Okay. So, so if you have back pain, then yeah, the Beamer helps, but here's some stretches you need to do. Here's some things nutrition-wise that can hurt you. 
That's awesome. That's awesome. So, Aaron, I'm sure that we have someone who's watching or listening that would want to learn more about Body Blueprint and yourself, the services that you offer. How can they uh, contact you? Uh, the best way to reach me um, is uh, my Instagram page at the Real Body Blueprint. Okay, I have, I have a few of them. One, like I said at the Real Body Blueprint, and also if you're into to working out, maybe I do like the dance workout. That's at Rhythm Body Circuit. That's another one. Um, so those are the two. My, my website right now is under construction. I'm working on because as you can see, I offer a lot of different services, so I'm putting that together. Um, it is bodyblueprint.net, but like I said, it's under construction right now, so that should be up soon. Um, you can contact me directly, asmithnetwork at gmail.com is my email address. Awesome, awesome. Well, give us some some parting words, Aaron. Uh, if there is something that you haven't shared that you would like to share with our audience. Okay. Uh, well, I, I would like to just reiterate, like I mentioned earlier, um, I believe everyone's here for a purpose and to leave a legacy. And I believe it's important to maximize your life, maximize your your performance, maximize, maximize your experience in this life. Uh, so it's important to take life serious, not only focusing on accomplishing things, which is great. But like I said, your health, I, I say your health is your base. You need that. Mm. If you expire, you can't do any of the things. And, it, it, and like, I'm, you know, this is off the topic, but I've been seeing a lot of uh, people in the hip hop industry getting shot and killed, right? Their, their, their life is expiring, all right? Uh, you know, a lot of stuff going on with COVID. And my opinion is, you know, of course, that's very controversial, but, you know, keeping the immune system strong, the, the small decisions that we make are going to determine how long we live and it's going to it's essentially affect our legacy. So think about the small decisions we make of course, with your health, okay, uh, but also in the sense we make in life, stress, getting enough rest. Think about the bigger picture and don't only really think about the right now. Think about the bigger picture. And if you do that, I think it will help you take your health more serious because you're going to think, you know, this is important. Let me take care of this so that uh, whatever my purpose is in life, I can pursue that effectively and efficiently. efficiently. Wow. Aaron, I thank you so much for being on Being Inspired today. And I know that someone is being inspired to hold on to positive expectations, especially regarding their health. I know that you've shared some more information with me that I wasn't aware of. And, and I'm really proud of uh, the accomplishments, accomplishments that you've made and continue to make. Thank you again for being on Be Inspired today. No problem. Thank you for having me. All right. God bless you, brother. God bless.